Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be doing a chit chat, get ready with me. I'm gonna be getting ready for the day and I'm gonna just chat about the last week because it has been an eye opening last week for me and it's just a lot has gone on. Nothing really physically has happened really, but so much mentally. And I just wanted to chat with you guys and talk to you about just where I've been in my mind this last week and what's going on and just where I'm hoping the future will lead me. And I feel like this last week has been like a week of so much revelation and self-discovery. It's unreal. And I think that a lot of growing older is dealing with that. Sometimes goals and dreams just change. And so we're gonna get into all of that today. It's gonna be a real one. And if you are interested in seeing more videos from me or other things that I have to say, subscribe. I upload new videos as often as I can, but I try for every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, unless I take a week off, which is what I did last week. You guys can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram and another place that you'll be learning about in this video. And let's just get into it. So if you had asked me five years ago, what do you wanna do with your life? I always had the answer of, you know, I don't really know, but I'm just gonna kinda of see where, where it takes me. And that's been the answer I've always had. Always. My managers, when I first signed up with them, they asked me the same thing. They're like, what's your five year plan? And I was like, don't have one. Don't know what I wanna do. They're like, do you wanna do a makeup line? I'm like, not really. They're like, do you have, have anything that you have in mind that you wanna do? And I was like, don't know. That's always been my go-to answer. My go-to answer has always been, don't know what I wanna do, just travel and make money and do YouTube and just, that's it. I really had no plan and while that may sound like so freeing, in a lot of ways, it left me feeling directionless and not in like a hideously negative way. I just never had anything I was necessarily working towards. I was just kind of living my life day to day. And that was fine forever, totally fine, didn't care. Until recently when I started kind of thinking about it more and I thought like, what is my long-term goal? Like, what is my life plan? And I started thinking about certain things that I wanted to do and certain things that I thought I wanted. And then what I realized is that as I'm growing older, my priorities are shifting. And I think this is completely normal. I really hate to say I'm not going, I'm not going through a midlife crisis or anything, but I am thinking more about just things. Just thinking about things. Think about them beans. In that leaves almost a feeling of unfulfilled because you're not necessarily like working towards a larger goal. And now we don't know if we want kids. We're pretty 50-50 on it. Zach does want kids. I'm still 50-50 on it. I think I do one day maybe, but I'm not like in any rush and I'm getting older. And so that does feel like I in some ways have a, a clock ticking where it's like, you need to choose. But what I'm discovering is that not having direction leads to the feeling of just almost like an unfulfilled feeling of like, what am I waiting for? What is the next thing? And I never knew the answer to that question. So in that lost direction for my life, I was feeling unhappy. By the way, this is not a down video. This is not a sad video. This is a happy video because I'm, I'm finally, Happy. When I first started my YouTube channel, there are always markers that you shoot, shoot for. And I remember my first marker was like, make enough money that I can quit my job. And I reached that goal about two and a half years ago. And then my next goal was hit 100,000 subscribers. No, my next goal was to save up enough money to be able to renovate my home. And then my next goal was hit 500,000 subscribers. And what I discovered is that you always enter into each milestone or goal with the outcome of when I blank blank, I will be happy. And it's not like I'm unhappy. It's not like I walk around thinking I am unhappy. I hate my life, not in any way, shape or form. And there's always something more. And so I've, I've been, I, I hate that. Cause I'm always like, what the fuck? Why can't I ever feel just like content with, with the destination that I've reached, not looking for more of a destination. And I think it's so human to feel like you want more. But what I've discovered is that I don't want more things. And that is a realization that I've had over the course of the last two years that I've been wanting more and more and more. And what is it? What is the goal? And what I've discovered is if I break it all down, I saw a video the other day from Mel Robbins, who I've spoken about on my YouTube channel before. I was listening to her inspirational speaking and it just really resonates with me. And I was listening to her and she said, if money wasn't an option and it wasn't a concern, what would you do? I realized that I've been reaching for goals that I thought 
I should have because it's almost expected of me in the industry that I'm in. So in the makeup industry, what are the goals that you would necessarily think that somebody in my position would want? A makeup line, a mansion, <laughs> a new car, designer items, a bigger house. This isn't me stereotyping and trying to be an asshole. This is me trying to be realistic with myself in what I even thought were things that I should reach for. They were things that I thought I should want when I reached whatever milestone. At least for me, and I don't know about everyone, but I always pictured more money, more things, bigger house, on the water, in a better location. Those are all the things that I was thinking that, yeah, that's the next step of a YouTuber, that's the next step of a beauty influencer. And I was almost following the path that I thought I should have because it's what a lot of people have and that's what beauty influencers do. And that sounds so stupid, but it's almost like how there's almost like a, a formula to doing YouTube and being an influencer. There's almost like a standard of what everyone kind of does and it almost is always the same. I don't really know why that is or why kind of people start to all look similar and do similar things and reach for similar goals. And I think that a lot of that is the industry and I think a lot of it is just, you see other people doing well and you think that's what well is and you think that that's what you need to reach for. And what I've determined in the last few months that I've been really self-reflecting and really thinking about my situation and what I want in my life, not what other people think I should have or what the ultimate goal is that is almost expected of an influencer, but what I wanna do, not anybody else, no other situation. And if I break it down to what truly makes me happy and the things that if I were to think about them and I thought, all right, what are the things that really make me feel in my heart of hearts, true happiness, not surface level happiness, not what I think makes me happy, not what people think makes them happy, but what truly in my heart makes me feel a sense of contentment and a sense of fulfillment. And I've finally realize what it is. It's a really good feeling to have that revelation, to have the feeling in your mind of knowing, not, not necessarily your purpose, because I think it's really hard to definitively know what our purpose is. And sometimes you do think that you know it, and then you get a little bit older and things change and your mind changes and your thoughts change. And when I break it all down and I think about the times in which I feel the most like a sigh of relief in my life is when I'm not stressed, when I'm not pushing myself to an unhealthy level, and when I am doing things in nature. I think a lot of that almost sounds like so basic, but what I've discovered is that the larger I get on YouTube, and this is no complaint whatsoever, I am unbelievably lucky to have this job. This is a dream job. I'm so aware of how incredible it is and I will never complain about YouTube, but it doesn't change the fact that the, the more success one gets, and you can measure that in any way that you think, if that's with more subscribers, if that's with more money, if that's with more opportunity, if it's working with brands, if it's you know being able to work from home and not have a conventional job that you go to 40 hours a week, whatever you define success as, what I've discovered is that the more of it I get, the more stressed I am and not because I am overwhelmed with it, but because it this position of a life or a job or whatever you wanna call it, it comes with responsibility. And I don't take that responsibility lightly, never have, never will. I think that influence is something that some people take very, very lightly and they'll make light of it and post whatever they want online without a care in the world. And I used to be that way. I used to be like, ah, who gives a shit? Nobody cares what I have to say. Nobody's really paying that close of attention. If I say it and the kid hears it, it's not my fault. The kid's parents should be taking responsibility for that. And while I do agree with some of that to a degree, I do take a massive amount of responsibility for the things that I say online, for the things I recommend online, and for my influence, whatever that may be, positive or negative. And in that responsibility comes a great deal of weight and stress. And it's not a bad thing. It's just there, regardless of if it's a bad amount of stress or just a, hey, I've got an incredible amount of uh, influence here. And it's not even to the level of some people, but it's to a lot for me. And in that comes so much weight that 
I think some people are designed to handle. Some people can handle it in a way that's just like beautiful. They can work their way through any problem, no problem, realize that like, hey, we've got responsibility, but like, I'm just gonna take life by the reins and just do it as, that ain't me, all right? I take my position here on the internet very seriously. And because of that, even though, you know, even though so much of this is lighthearted and it's funny and it's a joke and yada, 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 and let's shoot, joke, joke, joke. And I love that side of YouTube. I love to just like have it be a place where you can just relax, unwind, and just not worry so much about all the, the hubbub of life and just all that kind of shit. You can just go to YouTube, watch a YouTube video, somebody that you feel like you connect with on a personal level. And it's just a nice place to escape and unwind. And it's just, I love it. There becomes a level of, hey Chris, deadlines, um, timeframes, you know, expectations. And with that is stress. And I don't deal with it well. I've dealt with a lot of it when it comes to like the death of family members or with my infertility or with a lot of things that happened in my life prior to having a following on YouTube. But I feel like the more I do on this platform and the more I want to do and the more I grow and change, the more I realize that it doesn't always lend to the healthiest me. I'm not quitting YouTube by the way. In fact, quite the opposite. <laughs> this is coming to a head to a point because I've discovered my life dreams that I need to talk about it, okay? And I've spoken to a lot of other influencers, a lot of other people in the industry. And what I've discovered is money doesn't buy happiness. They always say it. And you're like, mm, yeah, it really, it really would. People really think that and they, and they do. And they think, all right, money is the answer. When I get blank amount of money, that will be the answer. Okay, well that wasn't the answer, but when I get that blank, <laughs> that's the answer. There are so many answers that you think are gonna be the answer, they aren't the answer because the answer doesn't lie in material possessions. The answer does not lie in money. The answer does not lie in success. The answer does not lie in follower count. And it sounds weird. I've asked some people that you would look at and go, you are the epitome of success. You are exactly who I wanna be. You are exactly what I want in my life. I couldn't imagine being in your position. You would be so happy. And they're also, not feeling fulfillment. They realized in that search for success and follower count and money that you're always constantly competing with yourself. You're always competing to do more and do better. And some of these people are making, I mean, literal millions and millions of dollars and they still feel that drive. And I don't think that's them being ungrateful. I don't think it has anything to do with people being ungrateful or not realizing their privilege or position. I think it's innate in us that I don't think anything buys happiness. I think it's something that you have to determine for yourself and it's different for everyone. What happiness looks like to you. So when I strip it all away, and when I take what Mel Robbins says, and she said, strip it all away, money not being an option, what do you think would be the thing that you'd wanna do all the time? Cause you don't have to worry about bills, you don't have to worry about rent, you don't have to worry about any of that. What would be the thing that you would do? And I think I would be out in nature. I think I would be with my animals and with my husband, with my family, surrounded by beautiful nature and land and farming, growing my own fruits and vegetables, and living very simply. I'm a simple liver. That's what I like, it's what I've always liked, and I've tried the opposite. I've tried something different. I didn't like it. It's just not for me. Could be for you. Some people love living in the city, and I am all for it. If that's what you like, you do. You live your best life. Do whatever makes you feel good in your heart but that's not what makes me feel good in my heart. And if I'm being honest with myself, and if I'm just straight, flat out putting it on the table, what I want in my life is simplicity and to be healthy and to be in nature. And so thinking about the future, now I feel like having this plan that I'm gonna talk about in a moment, it gives me, for the first time, a sense of almost relief to know that there's a plan, that I have a plan. And I wanna bring you guys along that path with me because to me, it's so freeing to know that I'm no longer directionless. So Zach and I had a conversation. I recently rediscovered Elsa Ray and El Elsa Ray used to be a body painting YouTuber. She was in the 2015 NYX Face Awards, incredibly talented artist, body painter, makeup artist, um, now she lives a completely different lifestyle. I recently rediscovered her YouTube channel and have basically binged watched the entire thing. And I'm going to link it here because it is so inspiring if the kind of lifestyle that 
she leads is is interesting to you and i think a lot of people are interested in it but a lot of people just don't know where to start or how to do it after the 2015 face award she had the idea that she wanted to basically like buy a tiny house and then in their search for a tiny house and having like a, a home that was mobile basically they were looking at like camper trailers and things like that they found a 13 foot scamp the trailer and you tow it behind your car they basically they sell the youtube channel they upload everything on there and when i say they it's elsa and her partner baron and they both live off grid in a scamp trailer thinking about what mel robbins asked of me and said she didn't ask me i mean she doesn't know who i am but thanks mel i think i want to live off grid one day there's no timeline on this for me. Um, I'm setting myself up at hopefully a two year plan, but if it ends up being a five year plan, hey, it's a five year plan. And when I say off grid, I'm not talking about living in a scamp myself. Now it works for Elsa and Baron. They love that life and I love watching it. It's so interesting to me. I find that their channel gives me a sense of hope and peace in my life because it makes me realize that you can live a bit of an unconventional life and still have happiness. And I like that, I like it so much. When I thought of my life and I talked to my husband and we had this conversation and believe me when I say this is not a one minute decision. This is not a conversation that we just had once and decided on. We actually had this idea about 10 years ago and we didn't have the funds or the, we weren't in the position in our lives to be able to make it a reality. So we put it on the back burner and just didn't do anything with it because it was always, a goal of ours but when we thought about what that looked like for us and we thought about our futures no material possession or anything we've ever done or any trip we've ever taken or any place we've ever been has given me the happiness that my husband can give me love him with my whole heart he's the best thing that's ever happened to me he's my best friend and he's who i want to spend all my time with no rash decisions no rushing into anything no being like we normally are which is very quick to jump into what we decide we want to do and just really thinking about it, in the next few years, what we're hoping to do is buy land. And we're hoping to be able to build a home on it together. And in building that home or buying land with a home already on it, or how, we don't know exactly yet. We're still looking into everything and figuring out how it all works. Cause we don't know, this is brand new to us. We've always had this idea, but we didn't know if it was possible or not. But now that I feel like it certainly is because if some other son of a bitch can do it, I can do it. That being said, we're working towards having that be our goal. And we want to maybe build the house ourselves, maybe have someone else build it. We're not sure yet. We're not in any um, rush to decide that, but we're looking into all of our options. We're talking to you know, people around the area and just seeing what we can do and hoping that in the next you know, few years, the goal would be to build you know, a home that we love and that suits our needs and that also is off grid. When you talk to people and they're like, what do you wanna do in the future? A lot of people talk about ways that you can make more money to support your lifestyle because if you build a big lifestyle, you have to make money to support that lifestyle. And that's not a bad thing. It's a fantastic thing. If you can do it and if that's your goal and you wanna live in this big ass house, fine. But for me, I don't want to have to always work harder and bigger and more and crazier and stay relevant and do all of this stuff. I wanna do that stuff, but without the worry. I still wanna do YouTube and I'm not quitting YouTube. I love YouTube, I love it so much. And in fact, we're creating another YouTube, which I'm gonna talk about in a moment. The thing is, is that when you talk to financial advisors and when you talk to people and they tell you what you should do for your future, that's set yourself up for the future to where you are taking care of yourself. And there are a few ways you can do that. You can either build your empire and have this huge, crazy, crazy empire that is big and beyond you and multifaceted in all different directions. Support your lifestyle, which you can live a big, bold lifestyle with that. And there's nothing wrong with that. I would love to live on the water in some big, beautiful mansion. Again, back to where we were before, those decisions come with a level of stress. And I think some people are cut out to handle that stress because with owning businesses and managing people and having your feelers out into everything and all these multifaceted different directions, you run that. And if it fails or if something doesn't do well, or if somebody, you know, if you get sued or if something happens, that's all a level of business that you have to keep in mind. And YouTube is a business, whether or not it feels like that from anyone else's end, dear Lord, it is a business. And it is something 
that I've never experienced before and didn't realize was so business oriented. Behind the scenes, it's, it is a business, all right? It is like, it's not just people putting up YouTube videos and that's initially, I didn't even know you could make money when I started YouTube. I didn't even know that there was a monetization possibility. For like the first year on my old YouTube channel, there was no monetization. I was just filming vlogs from my iPhone. I didn't know anything. Then I started this channel and even the beginning of this channel, I wasn't making anything for like the first four years. So. It's really crazy when you realize it's not just like that though. It can be like that, but if you wanna reap the benefits of YouTube as well as enjoying your passion of doing it, it's very business focused and it has to be because you know, taxes and all that kind of stuff. It's just another level that you don't really think about. So this isn't to say that I'm not gonna do collabs with brands in the future and I'm not gonna work on awesome campaigns and do stuff with YouTube. Quite the opposite, I wanna do all of that stuff but I don't want my ultimate end goal of YouTube to be multi-billionaire empire. Oh, that ain't me, all right? And when I think of that being my future, it scares me and it does not make me excited. It makes me scared, but not in a good way, in a, is that really what I really want way? Is that what's gonna bring me the ultimate happiness? And what I've discovered is that nope, and I'm not gonna force that shit on myself anymore. I'm going to enjoy YouTube while I have it, whether that be the next five years, whether it be the next 20. I'm putting no stress on it. I just wanna live a stress-free life as stress-free as possible and just enjoy my time here, work towards my bigger goals. So your goals can be on YouTube, you've gotta choose them. They can be having that empire that I just spoke about, or they can be setting yourself up to where you don't need to have that. And that's where I wanna take this. So am I quitting YouTube? Absolutely not. This channel is not gonna change. I love this channel. I love what we've built. And I think it's so fun. I absolutely love it. That is the long-term plan. And having this long-term plan, finding Elsa Ray's channel, sparked something in me to show that you can still have a digital life in a way. Like they they do. They, they upload videos to YouTube. They do social media still and they still live an off-grid, very happy lifestyle where they're content. And I wanna do both, not search for it in material possessions, not search for it in finances, and search for it in another way to realize that eventually one day, and that may be when I'm 40 years old, it may be when I'm 50 years old, but that I don't have to rely on those things anymore. I can rely on me and myself and my family and my land and my home to sustain me and thinking of my future in an off-grid way while still having, when I say off-grid, I'm not talking about giving up the internet and stuff. I wanna have a fine balance. I'm pretty in every other aspect of my life. Am I all that balanced? No, I'm kind of an extremist, always have been, but I don't wanna be extreme with this. I wanna have a balanced life. I want to live in the middle of the woods if I want to, in my cabin and grow my own food and keep a simple life and have that off-grid life, but still have the internet and still upload to YouTube and still enjoy makeup if I want to. It doesn't have to be one or the other. And that's the thing, there are no rules with it. Like if I have my full makeup done here and I just skipped into the, in the middle of this video, I apologize, I don't know where I was. When I talk about like off-grid living, I wanted to clarify that a little bit because I was saying like, I wanna have it with internet and off-grid at the same time. I wanna have the ability to completely disconnect. If anything you know, were to happen or if we needed to, like we have full solar, we've got you know, all the food that we eat is gonna be grown in our garden. That's the eventual goal. And um, I want to you know, have the ability to have internet if that's possible, which I think you can do. I think, I mean, Elsa has internet for crying out loud. I think they have like a Wii Boost. I'm still gonna have a phone. I'm still gonna have the internet. I'm still gonna have computers, but I want the house to run itself basically. Like I want to have a well and I want to have electricity so it's all through solar. I wanna have a life that like doesn't need an excess of money coming in to sustain it. I want that, that's what I mean. So when I talk about off-grid living and in the middle of the woods and building our own house, that's what I'm talking about. And that's the thing, I still wanna do YouTube. In the future, I want to you know, not have to build this gigantic money-making, have to make you know, $100,000 a month to be able to live. I don't want that. I want to be able to not have to make anything and still be able to live. And that is my end goal, not to make more, but to not need to make anything, basically, if that makes any sense. Okay, moving on. I think it's personal to each person. And for me, this is how I feel like happy. And it's given me a renewed sense of excitement 
for the long-term future of my life. And having that is such a good feeling. It's such a good feeling to not worry about what I want to do in my future, but just sort of know that stress that I've been putting on myself and all of these expectations that I thought people were waiting to see, they don't need to exist. They only exist because I make it so. There's some really kick-ass shit coming in the future. There is, this is not anything different happening to this channel in any way, shape or form. This is just a realization that I had because I've, I've had a couple of people tell me like, man, you seem upset lately, you seem sad. And it's not that I'm sad or that I'm upset or that I hate my life or that I'm un, it's just, it's nothing like that. It's just when you feel, and it may happen to each one of you, you may have gone through it yourselves, you may not have. But when you feel like you don't know, it's not that I feel like hatred towards anything. It's a, a feeling of constant question in your mind. Like, am I doing what's right? Am I doing the right thing? Am I doing what's right by my body? Am I doing what's right by, by myself, by my family? And not knowing the answers to those questions sucks. It's stressful. You want to know what you're going to do with your life. I'm sure all of you do. And I think a lot of us can relate to this in many ways. And do I still know? No, maybe this will all happen and I'll hate it. Maybe it'll be another thing where I go unhappy. But I can't imagine that being with my husband often and growing our own food and living a simple life, which has always actually been the thing that I love the most. Like when I do disconnect from life, which we did last week. Oh man, it was just like such a sigh of relief. If this lash could stick, that would be, that would be fantastic. Why don't you just do your job glue and start working? All of this leads me to say that I'm very excited to announce, it's not a huge announcement, but still an announcement nonetheless, that Zach and I are starting a YouTube channel together and we've already created it. The link will be up here. The link will also be down here. And our channel name, which Zach so cleverly came up with, is The Sweet Life of Zach and Christy. And that channel is going to be anything we want it to be. And if you guys want to subscribe to it, I would love it. Um, mash of Zach and I, maybe just me, maybe just him. He'll do projects that he wants to do. I'll do ones that I want to do. And it'll be a place where we can feel free to upload content that maybe you guys don't want to see on Raw Beauty Christie. Raw Beauty Christie's makeup, all right? Product reviews. We do chit chat, get ready with me's. We do some real life shit. But maybe on this channel, you guys aren't really interested in seeing how we build a flower box or how we plant spinach, or you know, our process of hopefully finding land and buying a home. We wanna bring you along with our lives and he's excited for this as well as I am and we're just looking forward to having a place where we can just put out whatever we want without worry of like, does it fit my content? And a lot of people will say like, oh, just put it on Robbie D. Chrissy. The problem with that is that when you subscribe to this channel, you may have subscribed just for me, you may have subscribed because you like and only care about makeup and if that's the case, I don't wanna inundate you with stuff that you're not interested in. So let's just put on the other channel. You can subscribe to both or you can just subscribe to one or the other, whatever you guys are interested in or neither, you know? It's your life, you live it however you want. If you don't follow me on Twitter or Instagram, you probably wouldn't have seen, but we took last Tuesday through Friday and we went away. <laughs> we went to Mount Rainier, which we stayed in a couple of different cabins. When we build our hopeful home in the future, we are thinking about doing an A-frame and we went and stayed in a couple of A-frames to kind of feel them out, see if we actually like them or if we should be heading in another direction. And we stayed in two different ones, which I will have linked down below. They are both Airbnbs and I will link them both. From the time that we spent at them, it actually did give us a good idea of what we would be looking at size wise and layout wise and just kind of height and width and everything like that. Because if we do end up building it ourselves or having it built, whatever, um, we just kind of like to you know weigh out our options and we don't want to just sit stagnant on this and have it be some dream that we talk about what we don't act upon our friends marie and cat came out marie that's me or formerly marie bits and clips and cat or mama cat tv both came out on our third day camping and in the cabins and we just chatted and had like amazing life conversations and they had like a little barrel hot tub at the second place it was so cute oh my god what the cutest airbnb and so we did that we ate really healthy while we were gone. Last week or so, I think we planted a bunch of um, tomatoes and jalapenos and herbs and we are growing mushrooms, which you guys can see all of this if you follow me on Instagram. I post all of this on my Instagram stories quite often and we actually just grew a bunch of pink oyster mushrooms and we're planning on eating them tomorrow. We're gonna harvest them tomorrow. I know this shit's so random. I'm a makeup channel, I'm talking about pink 
fucking oyster mushrooms. But when you're 31, I think you'll understand. You'll get it. If you're 18 watching this right now and you're like, bitch, never me. You just wait. <laughs> you just wait. You just wait until the brightest spots of your future are owning an A-frame cabin in the middle of the woods where you're off grid and growing your own fruits and vegetables, all right? That's like the most exciting part of my life right now. And so the sweet life of Zach and Christy is born and you guys can watch it if you want to. I created the channel banner for it today and I'm pretty in love with the way that it looks. I'm so excited to upload our content. I'm gonna do literally so many different things on it. It may not be as consistent as Robbie Christy, cause let's be real, I fucking struggle to put videos up on this channel. But I think now being a little more just relaxed about myself, I'm still gonna be on my schedule because I think a schedule is really healthy for me. I think if I let myself get off of it too much, I'll just get too flighty. I'm too fucking flighty, all right? I just am that way. I wanna keep on my schedule here and keep doing what I do here and keep talking about things that I find are important or that need to be talked about or that I just want to try out and have fun with it and enjoy makeup the way I used to enjoy it. If I take the pressure off of myself and just do what I want to do for fun and not worry about everything so much, then that does just, it just takes a layer of unnecessary stress away from this. And I'm so happy. I feel so happy and I feel so excited for my future and I feel just like I'm really ready to re relieve myself of that pressure that just doesn't suit me. Some people, like I said, thrive under pressure and some people don't and I don't. And I wanna do the things that are fun in this. Like I wanna create fun shit for you guys. And I am creating things that, that I'm working so unbelievably hard on. You guys have no idea and you will eventually know. But that's the thing, I, want, I don't wanna, I don't wanna be like, I'm off grid now, bye guys, bye YouTube. That's not what I wanna do, I'm not quitting anything. I may look at these goals that I currently have, start working towards them and just realize they're not really for me. And that's the thing about life is there is no buddy telling you how to do it. Kind of just a bit of trial and error as you go along and seeing what actually makes you happy. And you know, you have to kind of go through things to know who you wanna be. I may be wrong in who I think I wanna be and what I wanna do in my future and that's okay too. This is just where I'm at right now. In the future, I may come on and be like, who the hell was I thinking I was? Or I may come on and be like, this is actually working really well for me and I'm feeling a sense of renewal in my life. And I think that having something to look forward to is really good, really healthy, feels really nice, I gotta tell you. And you know, don't let this make you feel any kind of way like, oh man, she's changed, she's become weird. I'm not becoming weird, I'm, I've, this has always been in me. I've just been suppressing it for so long because I didn't know what the fuck I wanted to do with my life. I always thought I wanted to be some multi-millionaire, maybe somebody, and maybe that's you. And maybe that's your passion and your direction that you wanna go. And that's fine. There are YouTubers out there who can handle, let's take on 10 more projects, let's build our empire and let's do the damn thing. And they don't feel stressed. They're just like, let's fucking go baby. And I'm like, no! And I think sometimes we feel like we're supposed to be one way and then we try to go down that path and because that's just not who we are inside. It's just not who we are. It's not our fault, it's just not who we are. And then we get stressed out and worried and we feel sick all the time and we feel anxious and we're not happy and then we wonder why and it's because we're going against who we really are and I think that's what it was. I was going against what I really wanted to do what I thought I should want. And I hope you guys do subscribe to our new YouTube channel. Uh, there's no content on it yet, but there will be eventually. Uh, we're working on it. I hope you guys like my channel banner. I worked really hard on it today. If we find a way to sustain ourselves and become self-sufficient and self-sustainable and grow food, skills like that are never a bad thing. Having those, that knowledge and having that skill set and having that lifestyle can never hurt. It can't hurt to be in nature. It can't hurt to eat healthy. It can't hurt to take life a little more slowly and a lot less stressful. That's always a good thing. And every time I go to the doctor, which I've been there a lot lately because I've been dealing with a lot of health issues, I just went to the endocrinologist because I had high prolactin levels. We're still confirming some tests. We're still doing some tests. He's like, are you very stressed? Because this could be from stress. And I'm like, yes, I am. It's subconscious stress. I'm not even that stressed for any reason. It just is there. I can't help it. it just is. And he's like you gotta work on some way to reduce that and you guys watching me and you being here and you supporting and you even sitting through the amount of video that I have just filmed gives me the opportunity to make that my life and YouTube has given me the ability to even have thoughts like this be a possibility and it's not beyond me to realize that this lifestyle that I'm hoping to live is possible I worked hard to get here I'm not gonna discount the fact that I didn't 
the, uh, this isn't like, didn't just fall in my lap. I've been doing YouTube for like six years and the first four years of it I did three videos a week, unpaid. I didn't make anything from it. I was just working my butt off, still working a 40 hour a week job. It's not like this just fell into my lap and I'm like, <laughs> but if you guys weren't so supportive and wonderful and just like incredibly always there, no matter what, the fact that you guys even watch and even are there to be a part of what I don't even know what this is, is unbelievable to me. And each day it feels unreal. And I think that's why so much of this is so hard in a lot of ways because I never feel successful. I never feel like I'm doing well enough. I never feel like I'm even making a difference or like, it's just weird. It's just, it's like this weird phenomena where I feel like so often I'm just filming myself in my room and you guys watch me and I don't even know why. I don't know why you're here. I don't know why you've decided to stay, why you subscribe to my YouTube channel and why I'm even lucky enough to have this be my life because a lot of times I don't feel like I do deserve it. And sometimes I do. I feel like I've worked, you know, really hard to get where I am and but it's still too good to be true and also I feel like anytime you say anything that may have some sort of negativity, it's it's like you're you're not allowed to say it because, you know, this is such an amazing life that that I'm so lucky to even have the opportunity to live that what like shut up just just shut the fuck up and just do what you do and quit talking about it just put the makeup on we're human beings we're so much more than just makeup and we're so complex and our minds are ever changing and ever growing and i'm a different person than i was last month i'm a different person than i was last year and i'm certainly far different than I was five years ago. I feel like sometimes what I need to see, I'm not finding out there. And I wanna be that if you guys are on the same page as me. And maybe not, again, maybe you totally disagree with everything I've said, but I've realized that in the discovery of this for myself, there is a lack of content out there. I'm not finding it. I feel like there's a couple of people out there I've found that I connect with, but a lot of times I'm just searching for the answers and I'm not finding it. And so on our new YouTube channel that I just created, I'm hoping that we can fill the gaps where they don't exist and you guys can ask questions and we can have like a community over there. And if you're interested in that lifestyle, if you're interested in just a different approach to life that, that isn't better or worse than, than one or the other, they're just different. That's the thing, they're just different. I never think I'm better than anybody else. I never think I'm not as good as somebody else. We all want different things and that doesn't make what you want any less valid or any more valid, they're just different. I hope you guys do subscribe to The Sweet Life of Zach and Christy. I know the name is like a pun on The Sweet Life of Zach and Cody, come on. It's too good. When Zach gave me that, I was like, bitch, you have to, come on, come on. That's too good. He was totally making a joke. I was like, God, what will we name our new YouTube channel? He was like, I don't know, The Sweet Life of Zach and Christy. And I was like, yes. You can't not use that. I'm sorry, you can't because it just fits. Um, again, it will be linked up here. It will be linked in the description of this video if you guys are interested. Uh, I hope you guys like this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up if you want to. If you don't, well, it's a little bit hurtful, but also understood, you know, this was long. Oh shit, are you even still here? And uh, I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you at my next video. Bye. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be, why do I, so today. Mm. I got, uh. The more I do on this app and the more, app. Oh God, there's a tea bag. There's a tea bag in myself in the face.